No one is exactly sure why. It all started early one fall morning when a hedgehog showed up in the middle of the barnyard. He might have been lost, or maybe he was looking for something to eat. Either way, no one at the farm had ever seen a hedgehog, and everyone was fascinated by the strange new creature. When the hedgehog saw that so many animals had gathered to look at him, he immediately curled up in a tight ball to the astonishment of everyone in the barnyard. The chickens clucked and the ducks quacked, and all the birds eyed the hedgehog suspiciously. But no one dared to go near him. Zeta, the smallest goose, asked if maybe the new creature had just been startled by having so many animals crowd around him. But no one heard her amid all the chattering and arguing. Edgar the rat didn't see what all the fuss was about. What's so interesting about this chestnut with paws, he said. An old pigeon who had traveled far and wide, however, said that he had heard about these beasts and warned that it was, a, it was best to be cautious around them. All this time the hedgehog hadn't moved, and soon the birds grew tired of watching him. They all went back to their business, though each bird still kept a wary, wary eye on the new creature. The hedgehog stayed right where he was until night fell. By the time the sun rose the next morning, the hedgehog had disappeared. In the hen house, rumors were flying fast and furious. Who does this creature think he is? Gone like a thief. Strange. I bet he didn't leave empty-handed. We should count our chicks and our eggs. All of the birds checked on their chicks and their eggs, but none were missing. This didn't calm their fears, however. One chicken who wanted attention declared that since the hedgehog had, had appeared, there were fewer worms to be found. <coughs> it's true, chimed in another. The worms have gotten scarcer. I wouldn't be surprised if he ate them all. The clucking started up again even louder this time. The rooster happened to be passing by just then and decided that this was the perfect occasion to take control of the barnyard full of hens who hadn't been paying much attention to him. Hens, that's enough. We cannot let ourselves be tricked without doing something about it. We have to protect ourselves against prickly invaders. The hens quivered with excitement, carried away by the rooster's fine words. Only one little chick protested. If we use our beaks to defend ourselves against those spikes, we'll all end up skewered. <laughs> a shiver of fear ruffled through the hen's feathers. Let's build a wall around the hen house, the rooster suggested. A wall so high that no wild animals will be able to get over it. So high that even birds won't be able to fly over it. And all as one flock, the enthusiastic hens set to work. To the rest of the farm, all this fuss seemed ridiculous. A mole predicted that pigs would learn to fly before the wall was finished. <laughs> you can't become a mason just like that, she added with a sniff. Only Edgar saw an advantage. With any luck, we won't have to hear that darn rooster crowing at dawn, he muttered, shrugging his shoulders. The hens ignored the mocking and kept at their work into the winter. The rooster watched over the construction and made sure that no one slacked off. The wall grew steadily higher and higher. Soon the roof of the hen house couldn't be seen, but the wall continued to grow. The hens didn't even stop working when the snow began to fly, and soon the wall was taller than the barn. But that still wasn't enough to satisfy the rooster. The higher the wall, the safer we'll be. Keep up the good work. Let's show the farm that we won't chicken out. <laughs> I didn't write it. 
<laughs> Finally, the wall was so high that from the ground, no one could see where it ended. The chickens were exhausted and the hens had even forgotten to lay their eggs. Everyone just wanted life in the barnyard to return to normal. They threw a huge party to celebrate the new wall and the rooster put the last brick in place amidst joyful collecting. It was at that exact moment that the hedgehog emerged from the straw where he had spent the winter sleeping. <laughs> Since the hens had forgotten to make a door in the wall, he stayed in the barnyard, waiting for the rooster to dig an opening. And since the wall was so very solid, that took all summer. Meanwhile, the hens got used to the hedgehog, and the hedgehog wasn't afraid of the hens anymore. And so, he stayed. I wonder how the hedgehog felt when all the animals gathered around him when he first came into the barnyard. Scared? Think he was scared? Because he hadn't seen these creatures before? Yeah, he had they? they were new creatures to him. Yeah. I wonder how the chickens felt about building the wall. You think they were excited? Probably started that way. Exhausted and mad at the rooster. Yeah. I wonder how the hedgehog felt when the chickens were no longer afraid. Glad because he could finally get out of this big humongous wall of a <laughs> Glad because he could finally get out, yeah. I wonder what happened next. They demolished the wall. Hello, Sierra. Hi. So they changed it into a little wall around the whole farm instead of a big wall around the chicken coop. Mm. Interesting. I wonder what other strange creatures might have ventured into the farm after the hedgehog. Mm, maybe a rabbit? Rabbit? Porcupine. Yeah, that would make the hedgehog seem really uh, quite tame, wouldn't it? An armadillo. An armadillo. You never know. Well, that's our story. And we're going to sing a song which may not seem like it's related to this, but in, uh, in a lot of ways it is because it's a song about, it's called Who is My Mother? And it's about how everyone... Um, is part of the family of God and every creature. And so let's sing, Who is My Mother? And then you're welcome to go off to, uh, to uh, Children's Church. I wish